the peyote ceremony and the eagle tethers us to our history, to our core past. One of the most important things for Comanches is that we pray through all the eagles in the world. So one of the most important things is to have more eagles. We started this by um, a lot of the rare eagles in the world couldn't be taken out of the wild because they were endangered. So we had a hard time breeding from them and getting breeding stock. But there were hundreds and hundreds of eagles with one wing or gunshot um, all over the United States. So we gathered them up, started making these relationships with the males and the females, and then we did the first bald eagle through artificial insemination. And now we're hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of eagles later that over 90% of them are released into the wild all over the world and done with that uh, cultural uh, ways and songs and histories and mantras and, and um, that's what makes us kind of sustainable because we're using that old ancient uh, indigenous knowledge. Yes, we use science, it's in there, it's in the middle. It's, it's a sandwich, first that Comanche knowledge, the science and then the other culture's knowledge. So it's sandwiched between culture. Uh, you know, so you'll get a PhD student going over there to write a paper. They won't even talk to the indigenous people. They just go and sit and watch something for six, eight weeks and write their papers and then they're done. And I'll go to the tribe right next to them and they've got songs that are 10 or 12,000 years old about that specific eagle. Peyote is the sacrament. The feathers that are used um, kind of moves what they call the puha. It's called the medicine that comes from uh, using culture uh, and peyote and songs together. And that sends their prayers and petitions to the Almighty. One of our main pieces is to be so humble that we pray up through peyote when we pray. So we make ourselves, it's called Nimapui Quincy, where it's called poor pitiful us, where we humble ourselves below peyote and pray up through it. And that gives us an unbelievable perspective in everyday life to be more humble. One of the things that that is very strong in our in our culture is that we feel that peyote takes care of itself and has its own awareness. And if you believe in that, then you need to support its actions in nature and not just take. And so we have to find the balance there. And so, um, Anti Native American Church and SIA uh, work with CCI, uh, Martin Terry's group, to do peer reviewed papers showing that a piece of property is sustainable for a certain number of peyotes, which was in the Comanche culture. And so, we can create a sustainable population for our religion and our sacrament within our culture. important factor for somebody that's doing spiritual growth and is thinking about Native people, you have to learn how to honor. White people have forgotten. I, I grew up white, so I completely understand. A bird flies past the Comanche, they take that as an honoring. Imagine how many day, times a day that a bird flies past you. Imagine if you thought every time that happened that you thought you were just honored how that would change, just that one little thing would change your perspective on everyday life and would raise you up because you felt that something, the universe just honored you just now. And so it's little things like that, that being tribal 
builds every day, all the time. So for us, um, the peyote ceremony and the eagle tethers us to our history, to our core past. And we go through things in those meetings that are the exact same things that we went through 300 years ago. That there, that, that feeding of that core material um, is an unbelievable fuel to sustain an indigenous way.